Welcome back to Living 808 to commemorate the 50th anniversary season of Monoa Valley Theater. They're going big with a star-studded cast performing in the full-length musical entitled Allegiance. This is a great story, getting a lot of buzz, selling out all over the place. And it's inspired by the true life events of a well-known actor, many know as Mr. Sulu from Star Trek, George Takei. And here to tell us all about it, we have very privileged to have lead actor from Broadway, Ethan Lee Fong, as well as composer and lyricist, Jay Kuo, with us. So great to have you here in Hawaii performing this. Aloha. Aloha. Thank Aloha. you for having us. And I like that. A little bit of a southern accent. We have a little <laughs> Atlantic connection here. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so let's talk about this role. This must be super exciting. Exciting for you to get to tell the story inspired by George Takei's own experiences. Yes, it's um, Allegiance is um, inspired by George, and as we said, it it's, it's follows a fictional family, the Camors, and and their trials during their internment camps, and their the, their main focus and and. and Question of where their allegiance are, their loyalty, you know, and we hope the audience will 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 come out with 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 knowing of hope and and you know and 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 re, and resolvements and stuff community. like that. And community. Yeah. <laughs> and what is composing music for a piece like this and a musical? What is that like? How do you convey these messages through music? <laughs> well, sure, the stakes were very high because the story was so important to the community. And, of course, we were going to Broadway with it. And on Broadway, we had none other than Leia Salonga, who wow. is the original Miss Saigon. And so, the, you know, the pressure was on to, to create music that would rise to that level. So we have a very Broadway sound, but we also have the 1940s because um, it takes place in that era. And we have a lot of Japanese influence. So, uh, you know, it's a, it's a very unique... A style of music, and it was a privilege to be able to write it. And we know you're only here for a week at MBT with Christian Lay, also has a, a great resume, including Miss Saigon and as well. But how would you say the different versions of the musical compare? How are they different? Well, you know, we um, we had to create a sort of an ability for the musical to transfer from Broadway to regional houses, and so in some some places the orchestras are smaller. This is actually a full-fledged production. I was really thrilled to see it last night to hear that full sound from the orchestra, and so. Um, it, Every production has been different, but I'm very, very proud of this cast and company. They did a terrific job, and sitting there was a really real privilege last night. And Ethan, we know you're going to get to get, give us a great preview performance of this, <laughs> but I just want to ask you guys, what are you enjoying doing in Hawaii? Are you having fun here? Yes, uh, my family arrived, and um, they came to support me in the show, and we've been at the beach every day, taking the kids snorkeling, and and I'm having all the zippies and, and <laughs> spam that, that we can have. <laughs> I got to commune with one of the banyan trees on the beach the other day in a meditation, so it was great. Perfect. We <laughs> want you to enjoy that, and right now we want our Living 808 viewers to enjoy a preview performance from Allegiance. <laughs> It's time we took action and found a way out of this place. I'll set an example, help others to see beyond race. And though my face resembles our enemies in war, I am still American, nothing less and nothing more. I may not be a scholar much as Pop wants me to be, but I'm not some nameless body in a crowd. If Pop would only see the soldier I could be, I'll finally find a way to make him proud. I'll finally find a way to make me proud. What makes a man is his dignity when he stands for what is right. What makes a man loyalty when he fights his nation's fight what makes a man is what he makes of himself when he's giving it all he can for all our sakes i'll do what it takes i must be 